Hi, this is David Wicks, your instructor for EDTC 6433, Teaching with Technology. In this screencast, I'm answering the question about how we post resources. Uh, so, if you um, have been in the course and have taken a look, you'll know that uh, we post resources uh, during the exploration uh, phase. Uh, and you're, you're posting those in a Google Doc. It's actually a Google Spreadsheet. And so in this, um, where I'm located right now, I'm in Content and Overview. And if I scroll down, um, I will see the exploration phase. I'll see the articles that I should read. And then if I click on this link that's above resource sharing, that will actually take me to another tab. And I'm then in the resource um, sharing link that is the Google Doc and it's a spreadsheet and you just need to fill in the information going across so if I was the next person to to put something in I would type in the date here and then I can either I can tab or click in the next cell so if I tab across I would put my name in and then the the uh, resource uh, that I want to share and I would explain what the resource is okay, I'd go into a little more detail one of the things I'm asking you to do is talk about what standard it addresses, so you'd look at those ISTE standards, and I'm also asking you to consider what content standard the technology um, might address, so especially when you're looking at discipline-specific applications, you'll probably find a, a program or a content standard that it addresses. And then a positive feature of it, um, it's easy to use, uh, I guess I'd say for some, uh, there's certain parts that aren't easy. Um, the negative, in terms of a school, uh, it would be expensive. And then grade level, I think it would be all grades uh, uh, can use. I think at younger grades, uh, it's possible that it might be a, a parent uh, who's actually ac accessing the content with their student and then I'd put in the URL of where uh, people could find more information about it so that URL uh, could either be a URL uh, for um, the company itself or it could maybe take me uh, to a place that compares this specific type of application so if I was looking at um, all learning management systems I might take uh, uh, have a link to a website that was a matrix of all all uh, LMS's uh, then I'm um, explaining which ISTE standard it meets and so I'm going to say uh, ISTE standard 3 okay and that's it and so I would be finished I don't have to save anything. I could go back and just look and make sure I've got all my content in there correctly. And um, I can then just close this, uh, this tab. And yours might have opened in a new window, but you can just close it. And you're right back where you are, and you can continue on. And then uh, remember, uh, if you've uh, looked in the syllabus and watched a, a podcast that I've created about the syllabus, you would see that um, you would use those resources later. You'll come back to those. So you might have to come back and look, pull that up, and now there might be 15 of them in there as your, your classmates have shared. And you would scan the lists looking for ones that uh, would be appropriate for your students or um, for something that you would be doing as a teacher and um, you could use that as you uh, share on the discussion board and possibly in your reflection um, in your portfolio at the end of the uh, module. 
Hope that helps answer the question, clarify this. Uh, let me know if, if you need anything else. Uh, happy to help. Have a good day.